The U.S. plans to allow the sale of lethal weapons to Ukraine for use against pro-Russian separatists. Supporters say it's long overdue. Critics say it brings us closer to a real conflict with the Russians. Lucas Tomlinson has more tonight from the Pentagon. The Trump administration ending the arms embargo on Ukraine, allowing them to buy 50 caliber sniper rifles and other light arms from U.S. companies. But the U.S. government will not be supplying the weapons. Still, the decision was applauded on Capitol Hill. This president at this time with his national security team is finally doing what people on both sides of the aisle have tried to get administrations to do. I mean, these weapons are to defend Ukraine against Russia's aggression. Russia hawk Senator Tom Cotton turned it up a notch, quote, this is a break from failed Obama-era policies to make Russia pay a cost for its aggression. With this decision, the Trump administration is reminding Vladimir Putin and his cronies that they lost the Cold War, and we won't tolerate their bullying of our friend Ukraine. But the State Department pushed back, saying weapons have been available for purchase before, after Russia annexed Crimea in 2014 and supported Kremlin-backed fighters in eastern Ukraine. Quote, under the previous two administrations, the U.S. government has approved export licenses to Ukraine, so this is nothing new. But a Green Beret and former Bush White House official says otherwise. This is a significant break from the Obama administration. It is the largest sale that we've ever done. It is lethal, and it is going to send a message to the Russians, and they're not going to be happy about it. As expected, the decision angered Moscow. Officials calling the policy a dead end, which will only lead to more violence. Earlier this month, President Trump's national security advisor hinted changes were coming to the White House's handling of Russian aggression. And what we're continuing to do is strengthen Ukrainian defensive capabilities. Ending the arms embargo comes at a time when the White House is pushing back on claims President Trump has been too soft on Russia. Today, Ukraine's security service arrested an aide to the prime minister for being a Russian spy. More evidence things are heating up in Eastern Europe. Brett. Lucas Thomason at the Pentagon tonight. Lucas, thank you.